It's Friday. Welcome to the Friday Night Stream. And to the obligatory sound check. Oh my goodness. One of these days. Anyway, guys, it's Friday night. We're going to play some Skyrim. Let me get you a cute background while I, you know, do the thing. Okay, I don't know if cute's the right word now that I remember exactly where we left off. <sighs> what a week. OMG. <laughs> um... So you might be confused if you did not watch the upload on Monday. Um, so let me put my little, my little earbuds in. Um, I'm going to be so sad the day I have to replace these. I, I love these and they're nothing special. Maybe that's why I really like them. Um, anyway, so... Let's, let's just go ahead and take a, whoa, okay, let's not do that. Okay, let's go ahead and, hi, Mega Terranova, welcome to the stream. Okay, so, you guys might remember last time that we got, like, a quest to go find a black book, and I was like, that's weird, like, I thought we had all the black books. We don't. Um, so I got really excited because I got the achievement, um, called like uh, elder knowledge I don't know but we read all the black books or at least that was my impression you know you got the achievement oh my god what happened to my cable it's all bad um so I got the achievement for the black books and I was like cool I read five black books so in my brain I was like that means I read all the black books right no there's seven and so I did this like little dungeon crawl and there's a little, a little chunk of that, um, that I tacked on because I was just like, well, let me check out this thing. I said I was going to check out this thing and I did, uh, after the stream and I kept checking it out. I was like, shit, I've never been here before. That's because I hadn't. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so what is this? Ben Kongariki or whatever. Um, it's a Nordic tomb, Nordic rune, um, and it's been like completely defaced by like the Reglings, which, whatever, dragon cults suck. But anyway, and then I was just like, okay, cool. So, um, oh look, there's a black book uh, after the word wall. There's a word wall. Um, so anyway, I didn't want to go any farther without you guys, but yeah, adventures, always. So you're here, right? Anyway, also before we get started, because this is my new thing, uh, this week's tea is going to be, oh, I got stuff coming out, is the Crystal Clarity Oolong Tea, Plum Deluxe. This is from my big old haul. Some of you may have seen on the Lego stream. Uh, it says, find a peaceful state of mind, and we'll probably need it, because I'm terrible at these levels. Um, it's oolong tea with lemon peel, basil leaf, and calendula. So I've had calendula in a bunch of their teas before, um, since most of their stuff is very much like native plants um, and what have you from like the Pacific Northwest. Um, it makes its way into quite a few of their teas. I don't actually know what the real, like, benefits are. I think it's like, a, um, I know calendula is found in a lot of topical, like, arthritis creams and things. So, anti-inflammatory. I like that. But what I've never had before is basil leaf in a tea. I always, even though, even though there's, like, um, there's Italian basil and then there's, like, Thai sweet basil. Those are the two kinds I know. There's probably more. Um, I always associate basil with, like, savory food. So, I've never had this, but it's, um, lemon and basil, which sounds like something you slap on, like, chicken or, like, roasted vegetables. But smelling it, it smells just like an herb garden in the best possible way. So... Oh, 
Oh, that's doing a lot. I almost would like this more when it gets a little warmer. I'll try this as an iced tea. Yeah, I like that. The like lemon kind of smacks a little bit later, but I like that. And the basil is really mellow. Um, yeah, you know, branching out. Cause usually I'm like, man, that's a black tea. It's got a crap ton of cinnamon in it. That's for me. <laughs> yes, it does sound great. And it is great. Also, um, let me do this without spilling. Um, I borrowed my partner's mug a few years ago. I got him this mug back when like Think Geek was kind of their own thing. And I think they're owned by like GameStop now. Um, but I got him the Aldwin's like wall embossed mug, which means like you can't put it in the dishwasher, you can't put it in the microwave. So we don't use it very often, but I don't know. It just felt appropriately moody. Um, along with my brand new, um, like space tea t-shirt I don't know uh, I'll I try to link stuff when I can and I will but anyway uh, let me slap some hand lotion on because my hands are dry and sad and uh, let's go back to Apocrypha so anyway I hope everyone's doing well um, there is like absolute crap weather just about everywhere except like here it's uh, unseasonably warm here it's been I w the high has been around 60 Fahrenheit all week, but I don't think it's really gotten there. But we have had some, like, pretty bad wind, um, which is pretty, like, par for the course for this time of year, the wind part at least, not the 60-degree part. Um, but it's still really cold at night, so it just, like, swings really hard. Okay, that's better. See, I have a vacation. I go back to work. I'm afraid of touching everything, and so, like, now my hands are sad. <laughs> uh, let me have one more sip of tea, and let's go to Apocrypha. That tastes like something that you would order for lunch at a tavern on, like... like the Cyrodelin Gold Coast, like an anvil, like where it's just lush and green. I've been playing Ark all week, so like I have some issues here. All right, let's do it. Untold Legends, here we go. Yeah. You're right, Janessa, that isn't right. I don't know if I know this level. I see that we have some, let's see, Font of Magica. Okay, yeah, the blue ones are all Font of Magica. We got some, I don't know, noxious looking gas stuff. I wonder if we're gonna have that like burning darkness like last time. Cause who doesn't love a good burning darkness? I'll take that. Hmm. So yeah, I hope everybody is well and safe because yeah, it's been a thing. All right, let's go to chapter two. Alright, my concern is that we haven't seen any enemies yet. Ooh, what is that bass note I'm hearing? Bass note? Ah, gave myself away. Okay, so he's like a regular lurker, and I'm a little less scared. Okay. God, I'm gl so glad I put like, ooh, all that stuff. 
I'm glad I put all my points and things. Oh man, look at those faces. I'm so excited. Um, I don't know if I've talked about it, but I know that the um, kind of, what do you want to call it? Like a living novel, maybe? Oh, we have two books. Oh, that's wild. Okay. So that's chapter four. We should go to three first because maybe it'll be the control in the chaos here. Um, but I did that kind of like walking book. Oh, ah, hi. Who's hurting me? Oh, hi, it's you. I don't like you. I know you're there. Like, can you not? I'm kind of a cranky butt this week, and I don't mean to be. Um, I'm not having a great pain week with my bad leg, and I don't know. I know I complain about it. I try not to complain about it, but, you know, when it's literally the thing. Oh, we can steal all the books. We already have that one, but like, are we gonna say no to... Alright, and then right on across to four. Um, so I don't know. I've been trying not to be like short-tempered and, um, do you ever get like mad at someone and know you're being irrational? So you have like the entire fight in your brain, but like there was never a fight. It was just like, that's what could have been, but like, I'm just going to be a little more calm now. That was like me this morning. I got like really snippy about something in my own brain space about literally just my own stupid perception of something. So I just, Oh, did you see that? Part of it is like, I don't like any kind of conflict ever at all about literally anything. And in this case, I like perceived a slight that wasn't even like a thing. And so I had this like argument in my head for like two hours and then it was just kind of done. Ooh. Oh, you got all up in my grill. Also, I don't like their belly mouth. Can we talk about that? That's not okay. Okay, screw chapter four. I don't like chapter four. <laughs> it has introduced too many characters. <laughs> I hear something creaking and it almost sounds like a lurker. I'm not seeing him. I don't know, maybe lurkers are hers. Or maybe it doesn't actually matter. Maybe sex and gender just go out the w window when you're talking about like eldritch spaces. I don't know. Gosh. So anyway, speaking of eldritch spaces, um, so the kind of living book we did a while back on the channel, um, Dagon, which was really stinking cool. But anyway, there's supposed to be a DLC for it coming out this year, and I'm pretty, like, amped for it. So I don't know what it's going to be about or anything like that. Um, yeah. Who knows? But I'm just, oh, the gold. All right, so some of these book titles I don't recognize. We're just gonna take them, because I don't think that this is like, 
the place to be reading these. Oh, we know that one. The rear guard, I know that one. Okay. So I'm kind of excited for that. Um, I've been watching a bunch of videos with my partner, a lot of like Let's Plays this week. Um, there's been a huge like burst of games coming out dealing with like liminal spaces, especially like SCPs and liminal spaces, which is so cool to think about anyway. <laughs> Um, I, I think we'll have to like literally just go back and rewatch the, I want to say it's the end of season one when the kids in Stranger Things are talking about like what the upside down is, um, because I, I want to argue that the upside down is probably a liminal space, but I don't know. I think I'd have to rewatch that explanation. Like, yeah. Okay. So something needs to open that. And I need to figure out what it is. Um, the short and dirty of it, if you're not familiar with the term liminal space, uh, liminal spaces are like the in-betweens. Um, uh, to give an example, when I was a small child, I had an absolute petrifying fear of our basement steps. Um, if you grew up anywhere with, first of all, basements, because I know not everywhere in the U.S. especially have basements, but it kind of makes sense. Um, some of them have those, like, creaky, open back wooden steps. And, oh, here, here we go. And I am absolutely terrified of them. And when I was really small, like really small, um, I was so afraid that I would get pulled under them, into them. Um, and it's not like I saw a scary movie that involved like hands grasping feet or anything like that. It was nothing like that. Um, like, I like scary movies as a kid. I still like scary movies. Um, but it wasn't that kind of sense at all. Um, and, like, imagining that there is another place. Let me just make sure I got everything here. Yeah, that's bigger. Um, into, like, a void. Into a nothingness. Into a place that's in between something and something, if that makes sense. And I was absolutely terrified of that idea. I don't know why. <laughs> like, there's just ridiculous existential crisis of like, um, getting pulled into a nothing. So yeah, so liminal spaces are like in the in-betweens. So that's why I was thinking about like the upside down where they talk about like, you know, the spaces between dimensions and these are all activated. And I, don't, I can't remember the kid's name now, where he, like, like talks about a flea on a tight wire. What is this? Those are just lamps. I was like, oh, is that, like, strength? Because it's red? I don't know. I 
and then he talks about a flea on a tightrope and um is is there not like okay that sh goes back to chapter two Hmm, I am suspicious. So he talks about like a flea is so small that when it, if it were to, oh now it's open, um, when it walks on a tightrope it can to the side and walk on the side of it and walking on the side of reality is what it is to like. Um, like that in between place. Um, so again, it might not technically be a liminal space, but that's that's what I instantly thought of um, watching some of these games. Ice rates. I don't actually think I have that in one of my. There we are. Chapter five. So yeah, so like, my head's been pretty heavy all week, and I've been super moody and emotional, even if I haven't been expressing it on the outside, um, just because of my own discomfort. So yeah, hefty, hefty stuff. Oh. It's like inappropriately organic here. There's a, I don't know, I guess you would call them pocket dimensions, but there are definitely some interesting spaces in the Elder Scrolls 2 um, to consider. Um, yeah. Like, I mean, I don't think, like, the Daedric realms are kind of their own actual, their own spaces, but I don't know. Um, you have to question anything involving, like, Shagora, that's for sure. Um, like his little feast area. Um, and, um, like his trials here, like in Skyrim and, um, oh, okay. So we're doing this again. So that goes back to three? It's probably a pretty common fear, but like, if I definitely have like a fear of void of nothingness. <laughs> oh, because that was the book. Oh, that's Trixie. Now I'm gonna get hit. Okay, maybe I'm not. <laughs> so I'm sure there are some finer points of like the idea of a liminal space and definitely anything in the SCP realm kind of gives me a good head scratch sometimes. Um, but it is interesting to think about. Just take a 
くうん I think they're gonna keep like putting that black book at the end of those hallways, like in that distance. Because I felt like I was like, oh man, these first two levels are actually pretty easy. Like, are the ones not part of the part of me? Bubbles. Are the black the last two black books are they gonna are the levels gonna be easier because you know, they're not part of the storyline, like the main, like, DLC storyline, but I don't think that's it. I think that's going to wrap us around to that pool we just saw. Right? No? Oh, are we done? Ah. Gosh, they're so cool, guys. But, like, I don't think you're supposed to read books that glow. Oh! Okay, I guess I, I don't know what I was expecting. Alright, let's check out these orbs. Bardic Knowledge, Secret Servant, Black Market. Uh, Bardic Knowledge summons a spectral drum that plays for you, increasing stamina regen for you and nearby enemies. Okay... Secret Servant. Summons a Dramora Butler to carry your excess items. Oh my goodness. And then summons a Dramora Merchant to trade with you. Yeah. Let's do that. Hi, Janessa. Six black books. Okay, so that means that after this, there should be one more. Alright. So, if you haven't figured out, I'm trying to, like, complete all the things um, here on Solstein. Oh wait, I think that's the apothecary. Oh yeah. <laughs> Where are all the ash bomb ash piles? Ash bomb. That's a, a little bit too much for me there. Good day, friend. Doing well? Hi. Where does that daisy steward of mine? Verona? Oh, no, wait, she's dead. Drovers! Uh, I have the black bit. Excellent. I'll just make a copy for myself. It's far too dangerous to carry the real book for now. Of course you can handle yourself. Of course you can. Of course. Now, take this for your efforts, and we'll call the matter closed. So, how does this ring work? It will light up the source when you get close to it. Okay. I enchanted the ring with a bit of ash from the last ash spawn attack. It can follow the magical link back to its summon. Yeah, I have to be within like a hundred feet of it. Within about a hundred feet of the source. Okay. Try walking around the ground. Right, he is. One day I will inherit his power. It will all be mine. 
Wasn't he a nut? It's also dusty. So I think. Interesting. I don't think I've really ever stopped to kind of look at this place. For some reason I thought the last book was here. Scrolls. Oh yeah, I think it's actually in here. I think we have to finish his like main questy bit first. Mm. Okay. Well, let's go. Let's go back to Raven Rock and um, see what we can sell. At the very least, we can summon our Dramora. I would summon it now, but like, I don't feel like we have enough really good stuff to be doing that. Let me stash away anything cool that we don't want to get rid of quite yet. Alright, do we have any weapons we want to keep? So I'm good on all that. Lots of gemstone things. Mm. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm pretty sure we know that one. Yeah. Okay. So let's head over to a book. Mm. Oh shush, it's not that bad. Just like it stopped moving for five seconds. I'm so bored. Interesting. It's about Mullet Ball. Okay. Whoa, that's a whole lot of book. Um, <laughs> we have a goblet. All right, let's go to the market and sell off a bunch of stuff. You 
Hey, Glover. You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. Don't let it go to waste. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. First things first. Daedric bow. And there's one, <laughs> there's one gold Reikling spear. Um... Look at us go. Whee. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. I like this guy's tunic. I like it. I don't know what you're playing at. I work for Mobile. You got a problem. I don't know who sent you here, but you've given us something to build up. Take a look. I'm glad she's happy. Nothing I can sell. Remember, I have plenty of potions and ingredients wherever you want. Your actions here have been. If you've got something to sell, I'm willing to buy. Why don't we see what kind of deal? <laughs> no, it's way more than. Yeah. Yeah. Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always have plenty of food. It's busier now that things just what you see here. Okay. Oh my gosh, we have so much gold, it's kind of sick. <laughs> um I will sell you this goblet. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, we're here. We're not a two-handed person. Probably should use that once in a while. Okay. If you need any supplies, you know what. We're a little bit heavy, but oh. yeah, that's just what it's going to be. All right, so let's go back to Telmithrin, now that we're wearing this ring. I don't know what I'm doing with the spring, but that's okay. I'll just make sure I'm doing this right. If I walk the grounds of Telmithrin, I might find a clue. Go in the kitchen. I hope you're not expecting a meal. I've barely got enough of them that live here. Yeah. Huh? The 
the steward's house. And I am right wearing the right thing, right? Yep. Ring of tracking. But I'm gonna go in there. Oops. For some reason I thought there was like a, uh, I don't know. I was on, for some reason I thought I remember like you had to go to a, um, cemetery or something, but I might be, oh, hey. Can you, like, stop, though? Okay. So, I didn't imagine the cemetery. I just, um... Couldn't remember where it was. Anything cool? Look at the wee babu. Hi. Aw, he was a cute little creepy brain whale. Mm. Are those called the net? Yeah. I've done it, sort of. I've known for decades that Hearthstones will animate the ash, but it would have to be very close by. Where exactly did you find this Hearthstone? In Ildari Sorafil's grave. Ildari? Then it was my own fault. She was my apprentice before Tavis. She volunteered for one of my experiments involving Hearthstone. It was quite annoying <laughs> when she died. It wasn't a body in a grave, just a heartstone. What? That's impossible. Wait. This she didn't actually die. The 
heart stone could have kept her right at the edge of life and death. Could it be? Could Ildari still be alive? Could she be my nemesis? Wait a moment while I cast a more specific divination. Oh good, I can put my good ring back on. Cursed. Um, so there's a bounty on her then. Why is it always about money? Yes, yes, I'll find something around here to pay you with. Now, go. Be sure to bring back an amusing story of how you die. Oh my gosh. He's kind of like distasteful, but really funny at the same time. Shouldn't be so amused, but I am. Thrice cursed heart. Oh, it's so good. There. Let's give it a good save arena. Alright, so have we been to this location before? Um what? Do I have to go ask him now? Oh, do I not have this selected? Is that what the problem is? Yes. I feel like we've been here before. Probably because it's on my map. I mean, we may have just... Oh, that was a poor choice. Aw, it was a crazy week, but now I'm hanging out with you guys. It's all good. Oh, I'm like infinitely calmer now. As like, I'm trying to assassinate like a rogue, um, like Telvani wizard, but hey, whatever, right? That's what it's all about. At first I thought it was like just a hole. I'm like, man, I hate doing those. Like those levels where your only choice is just to like plummet into nothing. There's a couple of those that are just like, okay, well I guess I'm not going back now. Ooh, I don't, mm, I don't like that. That's, I mean, we may not be plummeting, but that's a lot of steps. Ooh, Eldari's journal. <clears throat> the fools have taken me in. Weak, pathetic men intent on looting this ancient fortress with their crude mining. Nia is pleasant enough. I may choose to spare her when the time comes. I'm still weak from Neloth's betrayal. He promised me power and glory. He failed to mention the constant pain and the voices. By the three, I would do anything not to hear the voices. When my strengths would... When my strength returns, I will have my vengeance upon my former master. I can feel the power of the heartstone beating inside of me. 
I need to find a way to tap into its power. Then he shall pay in blood and fire and ash. I mean, at the very least, you'd think, like, the Hearthstone or, like, the Briarheart. I bet that itch is, like, crazy. Like, you've ever... I don't know why I think of this, but... If you've ever received, like, a cardboard... Um, like, a, oh, I didn't want that. But, like, a cardboard splinter, where it's, like, a splinter, but it's, like, weirdly soft... So it's really hard to get out. But at the very least, like, you have to imagine it's like that. my aim's quite that good. Yeah! It's quite the trap when you think about it, because you have to deal with the spiders, and then you have, like, the soul gem trap just zap, zap, zapping at you. It's rude, is what it is. Is that one dead? Yeah. Oh, here's some ash spawn. Now it's not. So I just look around. Okay, can we mine this? Yeah. She's like, I'm just gonna stand in this corner because you're being pushy. Do you hear creepy little spider legs? Because I do. Because, of course, that's really what Skyrim needed. More oversized creepy spiders. Starbreeze, welcome to the stream. Um, we are finishing up um, this like Heartstone quest line. So, yeah, good times. This is like my chill out time after a very long week. So, yeah, it's good. I hope you are experiencing much better weather than uh, some folks have been this week. Sorry. Okay. 
finding amethyst. Yep, that I am. Such an understatement. Janessa may not be a, a Jazargo, but she's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, I got the last one. Nope. We have awoken something. Well, that worked out okay. Here, um, do we have... Nope, that didn't work. What is this hallway shaped like? Is it... Oh, that's bad. Apparently that didn't do anything to protect me. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna have to take it. That was lame. I was expecting to do something cool there, because the last trap I was able to just, like, knock it off with an arrow, but, oh well. Can't win them all. Oh, speaking of. Okay, that went better than it could have. Speaking of amethyst, there we go. I don't know why I need that, because I really don't, but I can sell it. <laughs> you see that? That's rude. Okay. Um... I need something ranged here. Destruction. There we go. <laughs> and I, I saw that and I was like, oh yeah, we're going to go fight a wizard. There's probably traps. Also, lots of torture things happening here. Definitely am not keen on that. We got boots and potatoes in the same basket. Um, I don't think that's how that goes. But, oh, look, another one. That was not what I wanted to do. Alright, we'll just keep doing this. I think this is definitely a circumstance of always check the ceiling. Oh yeah, some really unsavory things have happened in here. Guess we'll go this way first. Too old, poor guy. Wait, is this person alive? Can we let them out? Nope. That didn't work.
Okay, well, Nia can figure it out on her own. There we go. Adari's journal. Ildari's journal. I am stronger now. The heartstone kept me alive after Niloth's butchery. I can feel the bones and the ash calling to me. I can call back to them too. With the heartstone, I can bind the spirits to bone and ash and raise a servant to do my bidding. Tonight I will seize control. These miners and fortune seekers are pawns of Niloth. I can feel them staring at me. I'm sure they are sending him messages, reporting on my every move. The only ones I can trust are the voices. They've never lied to me. They've shown me that these fools plan to betray me, just like Nilo. When they are all asleep, I will raise my ash spawn. Their brute of a leader will die first. I can see the lust in his heart. He may act all kind and generous, but I know what he wants, what they all want. They want the heart stone. I'll keep a few prisoners. I need test subjects for my experiments. There's more that the heart stone can do. I just need to try out a few ideas. That's some crazy, crazy stuff. Poor guy. Let's see if we can talk to her. Thank you for rescuing me. Yeah. That witch was gonna kill me soon. I just know it. Ildari? What can you tell me about her? We were digging in these mines when she found us. She was hurt so bad. We took pity on her and nursed her back to health. She repaid our kindness by attacking us in the middle of the night. Those of us that didn't die were made prisoners. What did she do with the prisoners? Horrible things. Experiments and worse. I'm the last one. The others are all dead now. If you find her, don't make her end quick. Where will you go now? First, I'm going to leave this place as fast as I can. Then I'm going to get on the first boat to the mainland. Good luck to you. Yeah, good luck to you. Man, that's some stuff. Well, good. I'm glad we were able to save Nia. That doesn't feel good. Rumble, rumble. So hoping maybe this would give us a height advantage over maybe some. Um, some ash spawn or something. Geodes. I'm expecting more traps. Like those. It's gonna say handful of handful of, uh, you know, uh, those like ruin tra rune traps, uh, plus two, um, soul gem traps. Yeah. Oh, that's actually like good advice. I'm pretty sure you can't get Janessa as like a follower. Like, no, oh, maybe I guess you can if you come up with 500 gold early enough. Uh, okay, hold on. Um, 
they're really high up there. You've gone far yeah. That's quite a sight. You could send some low life to finish me off. I mean, I guess. I was like, nope. Wondering just how close I can get here. Where's he going? Okay. I definitely want to stay away from those. Getting there, and I think we took a pretty decent chunk out of her health, although I don't know what her, um, like, I don't even see gemstones in there, so I don't know if we're meant to, like, disarm them. why but the like way they march around and stuff makes me think of the Borg like um in a first contact when they're like marching aboard we actually first see them like marching through the Enterprise and it's like it's a, that sound makes me think of kind of cool, like, it's almost like a summoning trap, I guess? That's pretty nifty. Yeah, I can't, I think those are just, like, magic blips, because I don't see any stones. They look more like, um, like, mage light. Soul gem fragments. I'm good on all that. Take these guys though, and some glow dust. Don't want I think I just grabbed a ruined book, but oh, fire yourself! Could you imagine getting this far in the game and not doing like that fire salt quest? Near a bar at Red Mountain. We should read that one. But I see a journal we should read first. The Warrens are well suited to me. I can plot my vengeance undisturbed. I've created many ash spawn and summoned Atronox to do my bidding. Yet I know it isn't enough. Niloth is a wily old wizard. I need more power. I'm out of te test subjects except for Nia. I saved her for last. She pretended to be my friend when I first came here. But now I know the truth. The voices have told me all about her lies and betrayal. She works with Niloth to bring me down. I've saved a special experiment for her. It'll take quite a while to complete. I can't attack Niloth directly. He's too powerful. But I can make his life uncomfortable. I've killed his steward. I've withered his home. Maybe I should poison his precious tea. I'll need a more capable servant for that. The Ashthon are too clumsy for such delicate work.
Oh, I was hoping he would have like a cool note on him or something. Oh well. Where'd he go? Oh man, okay, she wasn't kidding about these like, she called them Warrens. Like, rabbits, I guess. Oh my god. Poison. Poison. <laughs> Yeah, well, she did say something about wanting to poison his tea. Oh my god. I'm actually afraid this is going to, like, drop us somewhere. What do you think that was? I think that used to be an old mine shaft. Uh -huh. Here on. Oh yeah, she got all of her health back. Inconvenient. And those are actual stones. Okay. Where's she gonna pop out? In this door? I think so. Maybe. See, those are actual, like, soul gems. No. Can't hit her through there, I don't think. I'm definitely not at the right angle for that. Oh. Oh, I don't want to cast in here. Shoot. Okay. That didn't go as bad as I thought it was going to. What does she keep casting? Yeah, okay. Chandelier, though. Oh, she's going like up something? Yeah, I know you did. Anything on her? No. Oh, yeah. You, know, you, got, you gotta, you know, you gotta take care of your teeth. We're not cool like sharks, you know?
pretty much. <laughs> Oh, do we have to talk to her? Whoa! Okay, clearly I've never done this quest because I don't remember having to tear out someone's heart before. wild okay <laughs> that was cold yeah tear of tamriel hey i think oh we actually got one of the recipes for the achnock forge at the university You know, I guess part of being a hero is accepting you have to do things that others are unable to. Dang, that was rough. What does this do? Ah, oh, nice. In case there's more ash spawn or what have you probably i mean maybe not now that she's dead but oh god that was weird um oh i'm very confused oh oh that's cool never seen a door like that anywhere in skyrim that's very nifty into it. I like it. Sweet. Now we can go back to tell Mithrin. Oh, we got enemies nearby. Where's he going? Okay, now can we go? <laughs> yes. There's like that single ash spawn. He's like all ready to fight. You're alive. I hope that boat's ill for Ildame. Well, she's dead. Well, well. You have proven to be a more valuable ally than I anticipated. I have a staff for you, but I would also like to make you a member of my house. Hey. A member of House Telvane. No need to thank. I staff of paralysis. Okay. Why is he weird? Yeah! Okay. What is our inventory looking like? Okay. And we can make a staff. That's cool. He's 
so defensive. He really is. He's just like, I'm ready to fight anyone coming up my elevator. <gasps> Shoot. Dang it. I didn't see the steel until the last second. Oops. I want the black book. You're a last well, I have some. No need to thank. I know you are overwhelmed with gratitude. The Ash from Red Mountain holds secrets. Secrets I need. How is Jervis working out? The man makes a dreadful cover of chaos fruit tea. However, he seems to run the place well enough. Oh, were you fishing for a compliment to sign up? It is so easy to steal by mistake sometimes. Don't waste your time. Those things are for the weak and foolish. Alright. Such a cool door. Yeah. <laughs> Last black book. No, it can't be good for you. Alright. Well, let's grab some font of magic here. The last uh, level was pretty fun, so we'll see. This could also go terribly wrong. Let's find out. Any cool chests back here? Yeah. Alrighty. Looks like the eye of Sauron to me. I think after this I need to make myself another cup of tea. Probably talking too much. You hear that too, right? Clompity clomp. Yep. With their weird, like, tummy mouth. I do not like that like a starfish. Not gonna lie, sometimes the ocean seems a little like a mistake. <laughs> oh, was that another? No, but I bet there's a seeker in there. I think that's supposed to be a seeker. It kind of has like the weird like stomach mouth thing. I, I mean like a starfish. Look at it. It's, mm. I don't like the green black oily water but I don't think we're supposed to like that you know. Yeah, I really like the Apocrypha levels, and for some reason, like, for as much as I've played this game, I only thought there were ever five black books, because you get the achievement when you get the fifth black book. I had no idea there were seven. So that's why we're doing this now! <laughs> um, I, I think, well, first of all, Hermes Moore is definitely my favorite Daedric Prince. But I think part of the appeal, because it, ooh, I don't like that. Nope. Okay, I actually thought I was going to end up in the water. 
Okay, well that's something. Um, okay, the Icea thing. But there is something just horrible um, about it in the same kind of brutal way um, the Alien franchises and it still has that same black and gr kind of black green oily look because that's kind of the tone of especially the first movie um, and it's supposed to like and it's so really well juxtaposed against like that crisp clean white spaceship you know so I'm a big fan Oh, no, I didn't want to go to chapter one. Oops. Okay, well, hopefully there aren't any seekers in here. Okay, back to chapter two. I wonder if I could use whirlwind sprint to make sure I make it up over that. Maybe. I don't know. It's like kind of swampy and I don't know. Like when you see acid in in movies and things, like it's that same sick green color. Okay. I'm going to wait and then I want to I'm gonna aim right for that pillar too. Yeah! I think that's kind of my plan here as well. I'll just wait for the cooldown and then I should be able to like No! Again! Oh, I could have. Oh. Oh, that's not fun. Okay, but we know whirl Whirlwind Sprint works just fine there. So. We also know there's going to be an enemy greeting us on the other side. We have roused the beast. No! I think I went too soon. Yeah. Wait, can I hop up there? Oh no, it bends the other way. It's kind of... Oh. Okay. Oh. That <laughs> okay. Um, big secrets time. I'm not good at platforming. Which is a shame because like I have a bunch of platformer games like in my like Steam library and I really want to play them but I know I'm I know I'm not very good at them although I guess the the answer to that is practice it wasn't super obvious <laughs> yeah I mean, I played plenty of, like, side school games as a kid. I just wasn't good at them. There we go. 
so it's kind of doing this in reverse that's oh how did i miss i'm so sorry you guys are witnessing this I'm gonna put my hands away. I feel like they just get me into trouble. Okay, and then. Um, just let it do its thing. Cool. All the way down. I think I should wait till it comes back up. Yeah! Quick save. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, look at me problem solving. That was definitely a ruined book I put in my inventory. Oh, I hear someone clomping around. Can I shoot through the lattice? Nope. Uh, I know I've, I've heard a couple people, you know, talk about like whirlwind sprint. You know, it was only useful really uh, for that first dungeon. Uh, in the main quest line when you do the like sp speed puzzle thing but I don't know there's been like a couple hidden chests and things where it's been really useful so I don't know let me hide in here for a second Death of a Wanderer. We have some cool um, book titles. I want to read them. Is this a... Yeah. Okay, so we have to raise that. Oh, what is this weird lumpiness? Oh, I don't like that. What is this place? Oh, ooh. Oh, that's very precarious. not like how walking on that weird mishmash of lattice up here. Let me see. see what I mean? It's like all the, it's like too many textures, like a, like a honeycomb made wrong. No, thank you. Okay, I was gonna say, there's gotta be something here. We got a fish man. Oh!
Oh. Right in your dumb fish face. So there's the next book, I believe. Well, let me see what else is here first. Uh, I'm guessing not much. I thought there was going to be something in there. Maybe we'll end up backtracking. That happened in the last book. All right, on to chapter four. Physicalities of werewolves. Souls black and white. Cool, uh... Alright, so... Is that it? Maybe I do have to go back and... Okay, so there's something here. Oh, okay. I didn't see this the first time. And that's not open yet. There we go. Oh my gosh, I thought that, like, plume of books there was, like, oh, I thought it was something crawling up the side of those stacks. Aw, I'm not being rewarded for my curiosity. It's like rock and book and I don't know what else. What is this? Oh, I guess they're the same statues. They're just bigger. Or maybe just more up close? Hmm. Bye! It looks like he has his like like his hands up like he's gonna fight. Um I don't think they're really punchy guys. But good for them.
because I've collected all the books. I like all the books. Make sure I haven't missed anything before going down the extra creepy tunnel. Okay, those are the statues. There's nothing in there. None of those little pod things. Mm, treasure pod. No, this doesn't belong to the main quest. This is, um... It's not even, like, part of the main Dragonborn quest. It's, um... So, a couple weeks ago, I got the achievement for reading... Five and six. Okay. Um, for reading five of the black books. So, my... Of course, my assumption, then, was that, um... There were, of course, five black books... But then I was like, okay, well, I'm doing this, so um, I should just um, finish all of the, like, all the things I can do on Solstein. I should just finish them. And, um, yeah. Oh, So that, that was the plan. I was going to finish everything on Solstheim. Well, in the process of doing that, I was given a conversation option with um, Nolith. And it was like, oh, um, how it goes? Um, you know, where's the next black book? And I was like, oh, okay. So that was at the end of last stream. And I was like, what do you mean? Where's the next black book? So I went to um, the, that location and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to check this out and close out the stream. And um, I went in because it was on my map. I assumed I had been inside, but I think I just must have was near the location and just kind of put it on my map. So... I'm poking around in this Nordic ruin and it's, it, I hadn't been there. So, so uh, I decided um, just to cut the video there um, and just kind of pick up at the beginning of this stream, you know, and so I picked up the sixth book and it's kind of where we're at. Oh God, no. Why? Is there like a weird thing? So yeah, once I realized that I had not been to that location before, I started recording, which is why there's like a tacked on bit at the end of last week's upload. So yeah. I wonder if we're going to extend that, ew, it's like one of his eyeballs. 
All right, so I think what we've done is extend that bridge, so. I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, okay. Does it wiggle? I think this is the question. It does not wiggle. Oh, that's why. I'm stuck on something. Oh, haha, <laughs> this is bad. We're gonna have to restart this. That stinks. I hope I don't have to like... Is that... Okay. At least I remember what it was called. Yeah, I really like this. Um, yeah, Apocrypha is one of the best locations in the game. At least for now, they're just kind of looking for me. They move pretty quick for what they are. Okay, that's one. Yeah. Okay. Little hops. Make sure I don't get into any more mischief. All right, any hidden things? Oh, I don't need to. I don't think so. Hold on. Let's make sure there aren't like seekers. Yay. Nay. Book of Red Riddles. It's kind of cool. I'm just gonna scroll of ebony flash. I don't wanna scroll, I want I wanna learn the book. The hidden twilight. Alrighty. So Mars Boon fully restores your health, magic, and stam. I guess that's a once per day Mora's grass. Freezes the target between Oblivion and Tamriel for 30 seconds, making them immune to all damage. 
Mora's agony summons a field of writhing tentacle that poisons foes. While the like restore everything is very cool, um, something about writhing tentacles just seems awesome. Yay! Now we have read all seven black books. Let's go back to Solstein. What did I just do? Okay, don't pick up any potions. Hey, buddy. Good day, friend. Keeping well. Can you train me in conjuration? Yes, but don't tell Master Neloth. I have to give him your pin. Uh, hold on. Uh, Magicka, of course. All right, then. Need something. Train me in conjuration. Yes, but don't tell Master Neloth. Ah. Amazing. That's so cool. And he's a master trainer. I guess that makes sense. Like, he summons all the, like, Cool Atronach things. Alright, hold on. We have two perks to spend. Okay. Um, was it speech that I wanted? Yes. Uh, yep. Alright, um, how about an hour? Let's just see if there's anything in our book. We have a bunch of books to put away. I think it'd be nice to have bookshelves in our entryway. Oh, they're st are they seriously stuck in here forever? Ooh. Wait, did I just... I like how there are already books there and we're just gonna collide with all of that. Sujama. I wanna know what Sujama tastes like, honestly. I mean, is it really a home unless there's like way too many books?
Oh, so many books. Um, yeah, let's put some ingredients away. Yeah, I think it's an interesting place too. Yeah, the um the Dunmer are definitely they're my favorite race, but they only like scooch ahead of the Argonians slightly. I think the Argonians are really fascinating. Also, we have some like some interesting music playing here <laughs> in the background. It's like I don't know if it's supposed to be like mystical or creepy, and I think it achieves both. <laughs> We have to keep one of those in our inventory. Uh, did we pick up any cool weapons? I don't think so. Wait. Because we got two different stabs, it seems that the, um, whatever you, your reward for completing, um, nail, nailless, um, quest, it's just like a random level loot. Okay, and then let's look at clothes. Saw most of that, but I do like the Telvani robes. Those are pretty sweet. We're out of mannequins at this house. Doing too much cool stuff, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go sell some stuff. I don't think we're carrying anything ridiculous at this point. It's probably like scrolls and potions. Oh my god, it's so many scrolls. <laughs> so Oh there we go. There's that Morrowind music. Oh that brass section though. Hey, Glover, do you have money yet? You got a good thing going here now that you've reopened the mines. Take a look. He does not. Okay. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Well, you know, one thing we can do, but I'm gonna save before doing it because I've never done it before. Magic. Ah, a fresh mortal seeks to bargain. You have many things I wish to buy. I have many things to sell. I'm sure we can strike a bargain.
Yeah. Okay, well that brought our weight down a little bit. Hmm. Let's go stow away some of our scrolls. And then I think we should go check out the Thirsk Mead Hall. Because that's something we haven't done yet. carrying something. It might be the number of soul gems I'm carrying too. Alright, well, might just have to be satisfied but with 185 for now. Okay. Because I don't think there's anything left for us to do until Mithrin. I think we've done all of that. Yes, I have the list because I was like, yes, let's do all of this. Oh, there's a couple things. Let's see. Okay, actually, there's more in Telmethrin. Before we go to the Thirsk Mead Hall, let's. Let's uh, do all that. Okay, so let's. There is a prompt for us to help uh, Niloth with his, like, um, research, so let's just see what we come up with. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. Probably would. How can I help your research? I do have a new spell. I hope to be able to conjure ash spawn. If I could get a sample of ash from an ash spawn, that would be quite useful. Okay. I've made this special tool that will extract. Well, you don't need to know the details. Just go harvest a sample. Of course, the creature will have to be dead first, but I trust that's something you can bring about. Sure. Are we done? I thought so. Your 
He really is a butt face, isn't he? Easiest quest ever. So there's, I think, a little bit he more here to do until Mithrin. Obviously, we haven't done the Thirst Mead Hall yet. And then we also need to go to the Scald Village because there are a few up there. There's actually, I don't think we've really done anything up there. There's your sample. There are some septums for your troubles. You come back in a day or two, I should have the spell worked out. You can buy it from Talus. Alright. Finally, I can get back to work. Hey. One day I will inherit his power. It will all be mine. Mark my words. I'd better get going. Okay. Well, hmm, I guess that's gonna take a while. A day or two in game seems like forever. Okay, so. Let's go back up here. I thought it was near this. Oh, the bird is pretty. But those are were bears. They look like were bears. Because who else would be wandering around? At night, and no shirts. Whoop. Gosh. Apparently, I don't have that equipped. Whoa, did you see that? We might have to reconsider this. Uh, I can't get away. So that's fun. She'll have to catch up. Apparently not as tough as a rare bear. I think that's actually their camp over here. 
Oopsies. Oh, excuse me. A lot of workers. Dead workers. Oh good. I really want to do that, but... Is this like a hot spring? That's cool. Oh, that was a very cool pose. Okay. Okay, there's one. Okay, we gotta get rid of this magic guy. Is that the pirate captain? Yep. I wonder if they have part of the um, death brand armor. Oh, that was a good kill cam. That was super good kill cam. Oh. Heck near shoal. Nothing good. Take your coin purse. Damn. Probably need that for Ooh, water breathing. Oh, we might need that. That literally might be the point. Uh, where's the captain's body, though? Or a cow gun. There we go. That's what we're talking about. That seems like time well spent. I thought about becoming a bank. I decided I prefer clean clothes and fresh meat. I like her. All right, so we have. Okay, so this might be, yeah. So we're there. So let's go down to Tel Mithrin. Because it looks like there might be one there. Oh, yeah. This is one of the ones that I didn't know how to start it, so. And then I think it's along the coast. Alright, so where that little inlet is. Okay. 
Oh, the sand strider. Ah, uh, yes, ash spawn. Because, of course. And that's kind of where we want to be anyway. Oh, that's awesome. That was a good kill cam too. Just makes me feel powerful. Yeah, it's gotta be along here. Ah, there it is. That person had a bad day. So did they. And maybe not us. We got the boots! Alright, so the next one is down here by... Um, I think it's near Raven Rock. Okay. Oh man, getting that like second wind. I was like, oh, well maybe we'll go do this, or maybe we'll go do that. And no, we're gonna get some cool, cool armor instead. Um, here, let's look at our map again. Alright, so I think there's like a bandit camp or something up that way. Alright. Probably gonna get attacked by coming up, like, fast traveling here. I'm guessing stuff has respawned, but... We want to be out there. <laughs> Feels super bad, like killing the netch, even more so than the um. All right, here we go. Nice. I know, they're basically like elephants or giant whales. <laughs> I don't know, they're tentacle whales. I don't know. And unlike the uh, Spriggans, like they don't attack. They're just there. I oh, that's a dragon. Anything else cool in here? No. Oh, look at them! A oh, little baby. They're so cool. Nice. Can't remember if there's anything on that island out there. And then I think there's one near a river mouth at the top. Yeah. Um Guess we'll go to the water stone. I'll get us a little closer. Oh, guess we're doing this. Uh, I 
missed. I should have taken the shout before. Nah, now I got him. I do appreciate that the cooldown for the dragons is really short and lines up with like the duration of its effect. I think we have to like walk this shoreline a little bit. Oh, there's a mine. Oh, that's all the net. Maybe we'll we'll deal with the Reichlings and then backtrack a little bit. Oh my gosh. Like really? Just right in the middle of this camp. Hi. Crazy smurfs. But you know what? When it comes to the Thirst Mead Hall. I always side with the Reglings. They might be little butt faces, but it this is their land, so. It also occurs to me, I think I've used the word butt face more in this stream than I ever have. Sometimes it's an apt description though. Um there's an episode of um my name is Earl, and um, Catalina was talking about someone being a butt bag, and he was like, what's that? And she's like, you know, like a big bag of butts. <laughs> I get that sentiment. There's another one. Oh. Aha! They're like worshipping it. Oh my goodness, look at it. It's creepy. Oh, and we got keys. Oh, I like this. I think we'll have to, yeah, with, well, yeah, we can go ex do an explorer. Look at them. They're so cute and weird. Excuse me. So there's like a mama and a papa and three babies. Like literally, if you try to bite them, the male, his, um, like creature tag will say like that he's a... Bowl, which I think is super cool.
doing on this side. So far so good. Don't want to run into any more werebears though. Let's quick save. Because now we have all four pieces. Helmet, gauntlet, boots, and armor. This third gold. They're very dangerous to lay where you were. Oh, this looks like some Reichling mischief here. Um, hello? Excuse me? Excuse me! Oh, I'm gonna die. Really need to stop picking fights with these guys because they're way tougher than like I give them credit for. Oh, no. oh. I did that. Bigger ceiling, that works for me. Okay, to be fair, like, boars are really mean in real life, too. I'm pretty sure a, bo a boar is what killed one of the Russian czars, like, while hunting. So yeah, do not tangle with boars. There we are. So if um if I think of it, and I am correct about that, I will put information about that. Uh, nobody wants banded armor. Oh, so speaking of like weird armor and weapon things, so something I guess I never thought about. Um, so we're we're playing Ark today, and my partner's like talking about like his preference for, like, level of, I don't know, societal complexity, development, technology, that kind of thing. And um, he was talking about how, like, early rifles and muskets had to be banded because um, the earliest ones were made at a time when... Um, metallurgy um, just wasn't super developed yet so um, metals that 
weren't worked when they were hot enough or had like a lot of impurities and things um there's like a chance that the metal itself would explode oh man look at these poor guys you guys had a bad day um and like that was a real consequence of using you know early firearms is that the metal itself could explode while in use so that's why they were banded so like you would have a ring or something to reinforce around them um, to prevent like them exploding or at least the uh, circumstance of them exploding okay that that was a lot of loot I like it So even if we don't actually um, go into this location, I do kind of want to find it. Oh, it's part of this quest. Well, shoot. I feel like we got to do it now. Oh, we got, we got a little blue guy somewhere. Lone survivor up here. Well, jeez. Hear you. I do not see you. He's up here. Ah, there he is. He really is the last man standing, isn't he? Oh, that didn't end well. So what do you guys think? Can I clear a dungeon in 25 minutes? I mean... We shall see. And another East India Company pendant. There are definitely some things that I've done on this map that I did not do through an, like during another playthrough. So I'm really excited for this. Is that that big worker again? I think it is. Yep. He actually, <laughs> Lord Tusk, he actually respawned. Treacherous is this? Okay. Gildan Hul. Wouldn't that be light? I feel like that didn't hit him. I feel like we're just trading blows. What? That was weird. Okay, well, we've got some weird glitchy stuff happening here. Love it. Skyrim, you just keep doing you. My favorite track. Dun, 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 dun. 
Alright, okay. So, this is gonna be messy, as I can see. Death Brand. Torn Note. Let's read this. The single richest treasure trove in all of Solstein, they say. Bah! Looks like this place was cleaned out centuries ago. The stall rim might be worth something, but my pickaxe isn't ain't even good enough to chip it. Still, I can't shake the feeling that there's something missing. There's an odd draft in the room. A secret passage, maybe? I've locked myself in until those bandits are good and gone. I suppose I'll keep looking. Not much else I can do. Yeah, that's where you went wrong, though. Oh, we got a sapphire. Man, that took longer to mine than most uh, veins do, so... Hmm. Good thing we have that ancient Nordic pickaxe we've been hauling around. But I guess it was used to mine obsidian, or not obsidian, um, ebony, so... It could be, you know, just extra sturdy. Oh yeah, I got my five septums. All right. I don't know if I quick saved when we started this, but hmm. let's go. All right. Oh my God. This place is nuts. Quite a sight. Uh, this is a stupid band of loot. I forgot about this. This is definitely like a pirate treasure. So I think we were at about a hundred and fifty thousand gold before we started this. I, I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm gonna have so much junk in my inventory and I don't care. weird ink wells and stuff. Also I'd like to point out that the door closed behind us. So something tells me we're going to, f I mean it's been a long time since I've done this quest, so something tells me we're going to fight like a pirate lich or something. What do you guys think? Pirate Lich? Is that a thing? I feel like it could be a thing. We have found a thing. Pirate Dragon, please? 
No shit. Which shelf do I have uh, equipped? Because I feel like... Mm, dragon aspect might be called for. Okay, what's gonna pop open? Oh, he's the sp So, not pirate lich, but definitely pirate goes. I'm not bay though. Okay, so we should have more... Is that his, like, first mate? Ebenhand, that's a cool name. Ooh -ah! Oh my god, why? We can keep saying, ooh -ah. So what do you guys think? Three waves of this? I don't know. Let's see. 
really. I will return. Okay, we have a lot of ghost things here. Yeah, okay. Well, geez, this time turned into a fun time because I actually didn't know really how to start this quest. And, uh, yeah. Like, I don't mind looking up the, um, like, number of quests or that kind of thing, but as far as, like, spoilers, not real into that. So, yeah. You would dare to trespass in these ruins. Yeah, look at me being dumb and brave. Black soul gem, huh? Ring of magic abatement and soul render. I bet that's the companion to what's in my inventory. All right, let's check these out. Soul render, is that? And blood scythe. Well, that's kind of cool. That's very cool, what am I saying? That's super cool. Any reason to downplay that? Oh man, we got so much pirate's booty. You know what? There's a chest back here. Let's, um, I pull out my weird stuff and just leave it here. Bye bye, goblet. Inkwell. Quail. Four skulls. Fragment. No, fragment. I'm pretty sure they don't do anything, so. Ooh, we. Well then, ghost pirate, I'm a pirate ghost. Nordic ruins, old secret. And a horker. So fast travel before he uh, aggro's. I don't know why he's being so suspicious. Well, I'm a cool guy. I hope one of our other houses have, has a mannequin. Oh, well, we, we bought those other two properties, so yeah. We need like a trophy room or something. So let's go down here. And let's check out this situation. Um, and then do Blood Scythe and Soul Render. Oh, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Oh, she, she's looking pretty spicy. That's very cool. But we are a sneaky character. So these are not required. However... There we are. What? 
Oh, I put it back on, like, dingus. And then... Okay, and then let's go... Okay, that's, that's pretty darn cool. I feel like these are problems for another day. Keep that one. We must just have like crazy. Oh, because we did a lot of mining today, too. Also carrying like a ton of soul gems. So I left those behind. And those. Oh, yep, we're doing much better weight wise now. And then there's no storage in this room. That stinks. Okay. Guys, look how cool it is. I'm not even sure what all the effects are, but it's pretty nifty. We did a lot today. Let's see. Um, so we really cleared this out. Uh, there's the whole Galdar thing. When we get back to the mainland, um, we have two houses to build. We should go back to the Hidden Vale as well. That's good stuff. Hmm. I have this bookshelf to fill. Do I have books? Not really. Bam. But our weight is down to 176. Okay, so I lied. I thought we started at 150, but I think it was less than that. So we have. 143,000 gold on this 144. That's crazy. So much, so much silly gold. Hmm, so where should we start next time? So we've already done... Yeah, there's definitely some more stuff to do at Telmithrin. Um, and we still have to deal with some, like, werebears at some point, which I'm not super looking forward to. Yeah. Hmm. I need to put Janessa in some cooler stuff, too. 
Um, we have leather. I was kind of curious. Well, here, let's see what this looks like. Um, we need void salt. I forgot about that because it's um like a daedric item almost. I wonder if we're like tough enough to like upgrade our. Oh yeah, we don't have those here. Um. Do we have any void salts over here? Frost, frost, glow, bone meal. Yeah, no void salts. They're expensive, so what can I say? Hmm. What do you say, guys? Has this been a quality episode? I hope it has been. Yeah, we're all iron and steel. I haven't really looked at this house. I have to say, like, it's neat, but the entry is a little bit disappointing. Got a whole bunch of ashians, though. Like, this little corner is cozy. I know what. I put all my books away, didn't I? Hmm. Well, guys, it's been fun. Um, next time, I think we're just going to go straight down the list of more things to do here, um, on Solstein. I'm glad we have this house. We can dump a silly amount of loot. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cozy and kind of not at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give us a proper save after doing all of this nonsense today. Uh, only died once. That's a thing. Yeah. I'll try to find out for you if I was correct that uh, one of the Russian czars was killed by a boar. <laughs> oh, see, she's tired too. It's been a long week for everyone. Alrighty, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this week's stream. Um, yeah. It's been fun. Um, Hopefully next week I'll be a little, I'll be even more chilled out. So, all right, guys. Well, as always, I stream here on Twitch every Friday night from 6 to 9 p.m. Pacific time. And I upload over on YouTube four days a week. All right, guys, take care. And as always, happy sipping.